Hey everyone, it's Mario here, and today I'll be showing you at how Wikipedia. Sorry. Wikipedia? You're using Wikipedia as your source of information. Continues to be a collective garbage fire for all things related to Macedonia and the mastering identity. So let's take a look. First on deck, we have Georgi Pulevsky, arguably one of the first to cement the ideas of a separate mastering people and identity. Here's how the neutral Wikipedia editors chose to portray him as a Miak writer and revolutionary, which is of course all the more comical since if you look at the page for the Miatsi, it shows them to be ethnic Macedonians. I'm sure this is just an honest mistake though. Let's take a look at some more. And next we have Dimitar Pop Yurgirev Berovsky and the Macedonian Uprising. And here's the neutral little addition the Bulgarians added to remind you this was a Bulgarian uprising. Later he was authorized to telegraph to constituent Bulgarian parliament versus the signing of the Treaty of Berlin and in maintenance of unification of Bulgaria and to represent Bulgarians from Macedonia on its sessions. Crystal clear. I'm, I'm really happy they've educated folks editing this. And then we come to Krista Misirkov, whom the Bulgarians know is a lost cause in trying to ascribe a Bulgarian ethnic identity to. So what did they decide? He doesn't need an identity. We'll just call him a philologist, journalist, and historian from the region of Macedonia. Misirkov absolutely had no identity. And then we come to the signing of the May Manifesto, which was arguably one of the most important documents in mastering history, as it saw both the left and the right come together and agree for the need for a separate mastering people and state. Here's how Wikipedia chose to portray it. This communist influence document reads as an excuse for Macedonian state for the silliest of reasons. Wow, a historian saying that reasons for independence and autonomy were silly? Hmm, does that sound objective to you? And of course, one of the leading voices on the mastering left, who was instrumental in the formation of the May Manifesto and Vamara United, was Dimitar Vlachov, an ardent proponent for the separation of the Masterines as an ethnicity. Here's how Wikipedia chose to portray him. Again, veiled behind ambiguity, a politician from the region of Macedonia. Neither Macedonian, nor Bulgarian, Vlachov simply gets no ethnicity. And similar to Vlachov on the left, we have Vasil Ivanovsky, the man who literally wrote the article called Why We the Macedonians Are a Separate People. On Wikipedia, of course, he's listed as a Bulgarian communist activist. And despite knowing that he was instrumental in the fighting for Macedonian national identity, they'll be quick to point out that, like many others, he gets lumped in, he was never able to break his pro-Bulgarian aspirations. Crazy. And then we come to Andrew Rosos. He's a modern day historian, born in Aegean, Macedonia. He wrote the book Macedonia and Macedonians of History. And he's actually a professor emeritus of history at the University of Toronto. However, he does have the unpardonable sin of not being from the University of Veliko Trnovo and receiving a paycheck from the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. So naturally, his Wikipedia page has to be discredited. He has to be shown as a lone nut historian. And it's precisely what happens here. In order to show him as such, they also use the, the opinions of an anthropologist as well as a political scientist down below to try to discredit this man as a historian because he happens to be educated in a Western school, reputable and credible, but not leaning towards the Bulgarian side. He, of course, has to be isolated. And in case you had any inkling of doubt of the presence of bad faith actors all across Wikipedia, look at what our good old friend Jingibi had to say about Professor Rosos. He literally said, and I quote, that it's impossible for him to have been born an ethnic Macedonian in Aegean Macedonia, and the only way he became a Macedonian is because he was educated in communist countries like Czechoslovakia, and that was the nation building factor for him. This is unironically what the majority editor of Macedonian Wikipedia believes that it is simply impossible to have, to have been born an ethnic Macedonian prior to 1945 absolutely insane. And of course, no conversation about the absurdity and humiliating Wikipedia edits is complete without this little gem here. This is a pathetic attempt by some lowly Bulgarian Wikipedia editor to try to remove Bulgaria's complicity from the Holocaust. Here's what it says. Allegedly, original wagon used for transport of Macedonian Jews by the Bulgarian fascist occupiers on display at the Holocaust Museum in Skopje. In fact, except Bulgarian army and police, 
and which was also a local staff, especially the Wehrmacht and Reichsbahn, were involved in the deportation process. Clear as mud? Somebody actually thought this was reputable and well-written and actually would prove Bulgaria's side. Thank you so much to whoever edited this. You make my life so much more fun. I'm from Cincinnati and we love our Cincinnati-style chili here, which was actually started by two Massillian brothers called the Kita GF brothers. And if you don't know what chili is, definitely look it up. But of course on Wikipedia, and this is not a page that existed a couple years ago, but because of the popularity of Chile and the proclamation of Macedonian American Heritage Month here, of course it had to be added to show that these two brothers were in fact Bulgarian Americans from Aegean Macedonia. But let's take a deeper dive. This is one of the photographs on Wikipedia. It shows the Kita GF brothers here, and it shows that the citation, where this photograph was uh, captured from, is from a book called The Authentic History of Cincinnati Chili, which happens to be a book that I own. So, let's take a look at what this book actually says about the brothers. It says here, in the first half of the 20th century, they were identified as Bulgarians, but that ethnic designation is not really correct. Macedonians speak a language that, while similar to Bulgarian and Slavic, is truly its own. Macedonian cultural pride spawned an American network of immigrant Macedonian patriotic organizations, MPOs, all aimed at freeing Macedonia. The actual book they used to cite for this photograph disagrees with them. And let's keep looking. So, since the Wikipedia editors are not in good faith using the sources they claim to be citing here, they have to have a failsafe. They have to prove it in the minds of the reader, you, these brothers were Bulgarian. And how do they do this? They just plaster the word Bulgarian in as many places they could possibly fit to convince you, the reader, of their assertions. I mean, listen to how desperate this sounds. I mean, you can just feel the bias coming across the screen here. Just listen. Even Kirijev and his little brother Ilya in Bulgarian military uniform. Bulgarian soldiers from World War I. Even Kirijev is third from the left. Advertising from Cincinnati, published in Bulgarian. Ivan Kirijev and his Bulgarian wife. Advertisement with Ivan with Agir Kirijev, published in Bulgarian newspaper Narodin Glas. So notice, none of these sources actually show them to be Bulgarian or having a Bulgarian consciousness on par of what Bulgarians may feel today. But because they just use the word Bulgarian in every possible way that they can, they want to make it assume for you, the reader, that if you connect the dots, put two and two together, you arrive at the conclusion that they are Bulgarian because chances are you never even opened up the book that was being cited in the first place. Crazy how that loophole works. Oh, and really quickly, I couldn't help but notice that the one source that was missing from this otherwise fine and scholarly endeavor on the history of the Kitajiev brothers and the history of their restaurant, Empress Chili, is this website that's, believe it or not, still around called EmpressChili.com because look at the first thing it says there on the About Us. In 1922, brothers Tom and John Kitajiev, Macedonian immigrants, clear as day. No mention of Bulgaria, no mention of Bulgarians, only Macedonians. But hey, still means Bulgarians, right? Source, trust me, bro, I got you. <laughs> So folks, with everything you've just heard today, everything from comically bad spelling errors and grammar to misrepresentation of sources to lack of objectivity in writing, character attacks, and even flat out omission of facts because it does not support your thesis, I want you to ask yourself, if you were in a college level history class and you did any one of these fallacies, not all of them, just one of them, do you honestly think you would have passed the class or gotten an A on that paper. I'm very curious to hear what you say. So let me know in the comments section down below. With that, folks, I'll see you around soon. I'll get to work on another episode here soon. I will be in touch. But in the meantime, stay safe and keep fighting. Zemaika Makedonia. Golem pozdrav. Aj prijedno.